Hey y'all, I am so excited because we kind of know how many puppy Sansa is gonna have. Yes, it is. Okay, um, and then is this your first experience with a litter of puppies? Yes, it is. I know, okay. All right. All right, I'll see you at the front door. All right, here I come. So what just happened there is um, she pretty much gave me the breakdown of everything that's gonna go on with Sansa. Due to COVID, I can't go in the building, but I'm gonna walk her up and hand her off and they will tell us how many puppies we're having. Hey girl. Hey. All right. We'll call you shortly, okay? All right. So I just hand her off to the medical staff. They're gonna wear and all that good stuff and make sure everything's healthy and she's doing just fine, which I'm pretty sure she should be. Ah, uh, Sansa has a special place in my heart. Uh, anyway, so what's going on with you guys? <laughs> it seems like I've been out here forever and it's only been probably 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, okay, Did you see the last one that she sent you? Yes. So what we did is we kind of tried to count the skulls and we kind of labeled them. So we think there's probably eight there, okay? Okay. So, I mean, it's hard to tell because we can't really get her on her back and take one in the other way. But when we count, we got one, two, three. You could kind of see them there. So we sent you the pictures there just so you kind of have an idea. I've got you a whole bunch of stuff to read up on here, okay? Uh -huh. On whelping and that. Probably one of the things that's really, that's pretty important here that's pretty a good way of telling when she's gonna have the pups. If you start like the last week of before she's due, if you start taking her temperature like three, uh, in the morning at night, it'll usually drop below 100 24 hours before she's gonna have the babies, okay? Okay. All right? So that's one thing you wanna look at here, okay? So this just kinda gives you a whole bunch of information. The last three weeks of gestation is when you get the most fetal growth, when she really starts getting big. Okay. So that's when you might wanna start increasing her food. Okay. Okay, what are you feeding her right now? Um, canine X, it's a, it's a heart type food. Okay, yeah, that's not hard food. You may even want to go to something like a puppy formula okay. or a growth formula during that period of time. Uh, they, at this point, we don't recommend supplementing them, adding calcium or anything to their diet at okay. this, because that can, you know, cause some problems. So, um, like I say, read up on this. It'll kind of give you a little ideas of what to expect and what to look for okay. there. Okay, this is her first pregnancy. This is her first pregnancy. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Okay. Well, they all look pretty, you know, small enough that. They should be able to pass, you know. Good, you know, but you never know. So you just want to kind of be, be prepared. My I'll big give girl. You that. Oh, honey, it's okay, sweetie. All right. Um, I'm excited. Let me go home and share the good news with Vaughn and Ann. Oh man, Merry Christmas. Put your antlers on. <laughs> Love it. All right, you guys, we just had dinner. Anthony's back home, Sansa's back home. You guys, we had something very delicious, okay? We had some something kind of like Indian-esque. I showed you guys the little sauce packet um, yesterday in yesterday's vlog. It was like some kind of, kind of spicy curry sauce, and we had some potatoes, and we had some of that rack of lamb that we got from Costco. And by the way, that rack of lamb was really good quality. It was really good, so I would recommend it from Costco if you guys have a chance to pick one up it is definitely worth it and for $15 definitely worth it I know my friend Jerry would approve because he is a lamb connoisseur so yeah we just had dinner you know we're just kind of chilling I got my little antlers on me and Anna are matching she's got on hers I thought these were so cute I actually got them from Party City I was there today yeah they're so fun and you guys look at my shirt from Walmart girl this is one of my favorite movies of all freaking time like I can't even tell y'all how many times I've seen this movie I pretty much know the entire movie by heart huge Tarantino fan so I'm gonna tell y'all the situation with Sansa are y'all ready okay let's go and shh y'all we have had to try to stop Ann from jumping on Sansa like scaring the heck out of us because she plays with Sansa really rough because Sansa plays really rough you know I mean in a friendly kind of way of course but y'all know if you have a big dog and a little kid but we can't do that now because Salsa is hella pregnant and I'm just like, is Ann gonna, like, 
injure the puppies or Sansa, so we had to be really careful. But anyway, <laughs> Anthony's home. Let me turn the camera a little bit. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Just ignore that. We'll we'll edit that out. Um. So yeah, girl. Okay. So here's the thing. Let me tell y'all a quick story. Okay. We were all supposed to go to the clinic for Sansa's um, x-ray, right? But before we left, right before Anthony came home from work, Anne had a little accident. She had a little accident and I had to change her. And you know what, we were starting to run out of time. I did not want Anthony to be late for the appointment. So I told him to just go ahead, take the camera and just vlog. And then I would stay back and give Aunt her bath and get her all cleaned up and everything else. But y'all, it was pretty bad. I mean, autism mom life, you know, like that's how it is. She had a little accident and it was messy. So got her all cleaned up and everything. So she's in her comfy pajamas and ready for bed. So that's the good news. But um, but 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 even though we wanted to be there and support, like sitting in the car, it wasn't like we could even go in because because of the pandemic, uh, we couldn't go in the clinic anyway. So we would have just been sitting in the car anyway. So I was like, yeah, it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm gonna put some pictures on the screen and show you guys uh, some of the imaging from her x-ray. Now, if y'all are like me and you saw the imaging, you're like, what is this? This looks like a blob. Girl, I had to zoom in to see really what was good. And it was something else. I can see all those little vertebrae, all those little skulls in there. Oh, by the way, I washed my hair today, y'all. I'm gonna do a new hairstyle for tomorrow. But anyway, I digress. The doc, he told us, uh pretty much how many puppies that they saw on the x-rays. How many was that? They saw at least eight. At least eight? At least, they couldn't get better imaging because Sansa would not roll on her back. Baby, and listen, I told Anthony, I said, listen, I know that they probably only tried one time because with a dog like Sansa, you ain't getting ready to try to make her do anything that you think she doesn't want to do. Like, so I'm pretty sure that. those vets were like, oh, <laughs> she won't roll over, forget it. <laughs> Just like remember we took her to the vet that one time and she was kind of freaking out and and uh, she was scared She was still like in a puppy phase and that doctor was scared. I could see it in his eyes yeah, She was three months and I think she growled and he was like, um, no, I'm not about to deal with that They get scared. They get scared. I mean they have fears too and get your butt down I know how she was jumping off the furniture and stuff She does that near Sansa and it's so scary because I'm like don't jump on Sansa, you know But anyway, so 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 the good news is that she's got at least eight up in there cooking but the kind of not so good news is that we still don't really know the the actual exact count because they couldn't get her to lay on her back. So there could be more than eight in there. So basically the day she gives birth, we're still going to be like on our toes, you know, trying to see when is the next puppy going to slide out, you know, because we really don't know how many. So once we see eight laying on the on the little cushion, we're going to be like, is it going to be nine? And then if nine comes out, we're going to be like, are there ten? Like, we're not really going to know. I thought it would be more final. Yeah, well at least we got a good idea, so. Yeah. A starting point. It was so cute to see that little x-ray too and see those little yeah. um, bones in there, those little skeletons in there. Cause that's really what you see on an x-ray and you guys will see on the images I put on the screen, but it was so cute. Oh my God, Anthony almost cried. Yeah, I did get a little emotional. Come here, Anne. We gotta just keep on giving her her vitamins and stuff because the doctor said after she gives birth, she's gonna lose a lot of weight. And you guys, when they weighed Sansa, she was 135 pounds. I did not realize she had gained that much more weight. But um, but yeah, she's she's getting close to the finish line. And you see the people? Well, she's looking at herself. Thumbnail. <laughs> Girl, don't kick the table and knock no, my camera no, over, please. No. And be careful. Let me show y'all my shirt while they over there playing. Look at my shirt. <laughs> this is so fun. So yeah, so yeah, like I said, we you know no one could go inside with the pup. So they they did they come out to the car to get her? They they came met me at the door. Uh, took her inside. I waited probably about 20, 25 minutes. You were so patient too. We were texting the whole time. And they called me in, and the doc said, "You know what? You my boy Anthony. Come on in." So <laughs> I went in. So you were able to go in and just for a, see a little bit. Yeah. No. Oh yeah, you guys. Speaking of um potty issues i have some good news to report not just bad news so even though we did have that little accident earlier which stopped us from being able to go with sansa and anthony but we we did a good thing today too so um 
I don't know if I mentioned this before, but um, as part of her potty training ABA therapy, we do like the reward system with uh, when she goes to the potty. So when she does go, we give her an Oreo cookie. And you guys, she loves Oreo cookies right now like a lot. So the way I discovered today that she's starting to make the connection, it was very unexpected, but she, and she did this yesterday too. She walked me over to the cabinet where she knows the Oreo cookies are and she was pointing to the cabinet. And I'm just like, girl, it's dinner time. Like I'm fixing your dinner. Like you are not about to get a cookie. So I'm like, no. And I'm like, plus these are for potty training. And then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> so I pulled the cookies out of the cabinet and I like, you know, gestured them towards her and she like shook her head like, yes, like that's what I was looking for. And then she started walking towards the staircase to go like upstairs to her bathroom, the bathroom that she's most familiar with. And then I realized she's trying to go to the bathroom and she knows that these cookies are her reward. So she's trying to put me on game. So I ended up taking her to the bathroom, y'all. She went on the potty immediately. And then she was reaching for her cookie and I gave her the cookie and that was that. Here's the game changing moment of all of this. Usually, and you know, usually with us, we are the ones to initiate the reward. And that's just kind of been our routine. But today and yesterday, I just didn't peep. She's like, I'm gonna initiate my own reward. I know that this is what I'm gonna get if I go to the potty. So I'm getting ready to let you know, get my treat ready, cause I need to go to the potty. Y'all, that was everything I've ever needed. I was so happy I had to tell Anthony about it and it was such a celebratory moment, but I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and see if it happens like that more often. But yeah, girl, that's definitely progress. Um, Sansa's sleeping. Let me show you guys her sleeping. Look at that. Look at that sleeping belly. Look at that sleeping belly. I cannot believe this dog weighs more than me right now. I try to be quiet when she's sleeping because, you know, she's such a guard dog. She'll just jump up and still try to protect us. And I just don't want her to jump up, you know? Lay down, baby. I want her to really get some rest because she's getting close to the finish line and it's really, really starting to become like, like her breathing is more labored and all that, you know? And, and from that ultrasound, as you guys saw, those things are big. Those puppies are big. They grow so fast, it's crazy. So I'm just really excited. Yeah, the doctor, he gave us uh, <clears throat> things we should know about while she's whelping, mm -hmm. um, what we should be prepared to do during labor, and also the weaning off process. Did he give us it in text? Yes. All right, because I'm, I'm better with reading. That'll work for me. I'll read through that. Yeah. And then how much was the uh, ultra, the uh, x-ray baby? Total, total, in total, it was 225 hours. So not too bad, you guys. But like I said, people don't usually do this. I mean, you don't have to do this. We just really wanted to. And then I kind of wanted to just get an idea, especially since we're going to be selling the pups. I kind of want to get an idea for like all the people who asked to buy one, you know. But you don't have to do this. Do you, baby? <laughs> what did the vet think when you showed up like, I want to do an x-ray? Is it like, were they surprised that you wanted that? That's awesome. Good parents. Oh, Were they impressed with Sansa? They know everyone knows Sansa everywhere she goes. Y'all, everybody around here knows Sansa. It's crazy. We have some neighbors down the street who have a, a cane corso. It's a girl too, the one they have. Yeah. Um. And one day Sansa got out, girl, and they had to um, bring her back home. And it was kind of embarrassing though because they had to ring the well, the woman. She rang the bell, and I was like, but I didn't know she had gotten out. I had her out in the yard taking a pee. And um, the gate was open because the wind blew it open and then she ran out. But Sansa's such a good girl. She didn't go far. She just, she went right down the street. She she knew where the other cane corso lived. And she was like, hey girl, what's up? You want to run the streets? That's what that was. But they brought her right on back. Oh, but everyone loves Sansa, girl. Everyone. Everyone. Especially daddy. <laughs> yeah, she's just resting now. You resting, Sansa? Sansa. She like, girl. Sansa. <laughs> She's like, girl. What? <laughs> I didn't want nothing, girl. 
so yeah i'm really excited and everything and um Sansa's whelping box should be here in the next couple of days, so we have that all ready to go. Let me show you guys what else I got from Walmart. Okay, so Anne's Therapy Center is having like a spirit week and all that, so we missed today. Today was flannel day. I checked my email too late, but um, so the days that are coming up um, that are left are like pajama day and all that, and then they have like a, a Christmas holiday glitter day. So I figured I'd get her this little top. It's it's supposed to be like a, uh, I think a reindeer. And that's why I ordered, well, that's why I got the little reindeer antler headband for this day. So, um, yeah, I got this from Walmart. I thought it was just so freaking cute. Look at all the little sequins. It's so freaking cute. So I got her this one for glitter day. And then her ugly Christmas sweater for... Tacky sweater day. Love the reindeers if you guys can't tell, okay? Just so freaking cute. How cute is that? This one was only $14 and this one was only $9. So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to fill you guys in on the cool thing that happened today with Ann and the potty training progress. And then I wanted to make sure you guys knew what was going on with Sansa. We are getting down to the wire, y'all. It, it could literally be any day now. So, just got to be on the lookout. But just know that I'm bringing you guys along for this entire process. I'm bringing you along. So, I'm going to be vlogging her entire birth and all that. So, don't report my video when I show y'all her giving birth. I'll warn you before the video starts. That That's what's happening if you can't handle that kind of graphic stuff. But I think I'm going to try to vlog the whole thing because you know what? I've never experienced this before. So, I'm pretty excited. But anyway... I love you guys so much and I thank you for watching today's vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow.